Greetings from Bermuda, this is BD Alimi, and welcome to the demo of the sci-fi roguelike deck builder, Breachway. Uh, so this is a game I first took a look at about nine months ago. Um, there was then what I think was called like a, a combat preview. Um, this is a more fleshed out version of that demo. The full version of the game is launching next month, March 2024. Uh, so we're going to jump back in and have a look and see what's changed since last time. So we will begin a new run. The first thing we have to do is choose one of three different ships. So the Arbalest is a well-rounded ship that strikes a balance between offense and defense, boasts a pulse laser that performs best in multi-attack bursts, destroying enemy equipment with ease, or the Marauder, a ship that trades precision for sheer firepower, overwhelming foes with a barrage of hull shredding attacks, its relentless onslaught making each subsequent attack deadlier than the last, or the Lancer, an advanced ship that forgoes a shield generator for a hacking console, effective at neutralizing enemy actions. Armed with a high, high precision railgun for preemptively destroying enemy equipment with the drawback of extended cooldown periods. Uh, so last time I looked at the game, uh, I uh, played with the Marauder. Uh, so I'm going to do something different this time. Uh, the Arbalest is kind of like the common well-rounded one. Um, so let's go with the Lancer and see what that's like. Uh, and I'm going to explain how all of the systems work as we go uh, rather than trying to explain them up front so this is the standard Slay the Spire style map uh, we are over here on the left hand side trying to make it all the way to the exit over there uh, there will be a boss at the end uh, and then a series of nodes um, there are elite fights, there are space stations that we can visit, and then there are a whole bunch of other unknown nodes, uh, most of which are going to be combats. There are also four different factions, um, and we will have a certain standing with each faction. Um, the higher, the better. So if there are six bars, then we are fully allied with that faction. We may get help with them in combats. Uh, if it's only one bar, then uh, we are mortal enemies. Uh, and kind of so on in between. So basically, nobody really likes us except the free roamers kind of tolerate us. Uh, so that might kind of inform where we choose to go. Um, yeah, they're kind of neutral, and I think everybody else dislikes us. Uh, but let's just begin. There's only one place we can go to start with, the blockade. Busy with trying to prevent civilians from fleeing the system, only one gunship has noticed our approach. It's headed our way on an intercept course. All right, so that is the enemy ship. And this is our ship. So the way the game is played is each combat, we are trying to reduce the enemy's hit points, uh, which is 25 for the ship up here, down to zero before our own hit points gets reduced to zero. Uh, and our hull points uh, carry over from fight to fight as well. So any damage that we take in this fight will go forward to the next one. Uh, we have three different uh, resources, if you like. Uh, red is ordnance, green is energy, blue is mass. We have a certain amount of those, and those are used to play cards. Uh, so you can see the cards that we currently have available to us down here. Uh, and the cost of the card is at the bottom. Uh, so sap costs three energy, uh, tungsten round costs two ordnance and three mass, and so on. Um, and uh, typically the weapons cards will be uh, ones obviously that use ordnance. Shields uh, would normally be things that use energy, except this ship doesn't have shields apparently. Um, so we'll see where that goes. I've never played this ship before, so I'm kind of learning these cards as I go. Um, we have uh, each of our um, equipment slots on the ship is what gives us cards, and we'll see that more after the fight. Uh, and each of those uh, slots is manned by an operator. Uh, and that's what you can't see behind me. <laughs> um, but each of the operators has a... If I, you know what, hang on. I should probably just shuffle this over here so you can see that. Um, each of the operators has a special ability that is going to cost a certain amount of command points. Uh, that's that fist icon. Uh, and has a cooldown, uh, which is the clock icon next to it. Um, and our 
total command points that we've got available is down here. Uh, this is something new since the last version of the demo. Uh, and we will gain command points uh, when we move from node to node on the main map. So we will not gain any command points during the combat. Uh, but yeah, this operator, next attack played this turn will deal plus 50% damage for five command points. Uh, Cypher, we will gain one security, which is a resource. I don't know what that is yet. Um, this operator seems like he doesn't do anything. Uh, this one, add attention if available, draw cards to fill all empty card slots. Um, so, uh, this is heat down here. I, I won't talk about that until we need to, uh, which looks like it's going to be in a minute. Uh, but going through the cards that we've currently got available to us, uh, so Pinpoint, uh, Railgun deals three damage plus one equipment damage for each enemy equipment. Um, so this is the enemy equipment up here. Uh, and uh, you can see each of their cards has a number of ticks under it. Uh, the first one of those on the right is highlighted for both these cards. Uh, every turn, it'll get one extra tick on the card. And when all of the ticks are filled up, then that card will activate on that turn and do whatever it says on the card. So the laser pulse would hit us for four damage, for example. The shield pulse uh, would give the enemy ship four shield points. Um, the We are able to disable equipment as well. Uh, if we hit the enemy, then uh, some of the damage will get applied to their equipment. Uh, this uh, number in the shield is effectively the hit points of that piece of equipment. If we reduce that to zero, then we disable that piece of equipment for three turns, uh, which can be useful. Uh, so you can see next turn, uh, because neither of these are highlighted, both pieces of equipment have only got one tick in them, um, the enemy ship is going to do nothing, basically, on the next turn. So it gives us a chance to do some stuff. So what can we do? We've got four points in each of the three resources. Uh, we can, uh, yeah, pinpoint, uh, do three damage with our railgun, plus one equipment damage for each enemy equipment. So I'm, uh, so I think we can, yeah. So so the railgun is a precision um, card, which means that we target a specific piece of equipment when we use it. We don't just target the enemy's hit points. Um, and so uh, it will do. It will actually do five damage to the equipment. Let's just let's just use that to see how that that works. Um, so if we target, uh, yeah, the laser pulse, say. Enemy's got twenty-five hit points at the moment. Twelve on there. Uh, so the twelve went down to seven. So yeah, we did five damage on that. Um, and three hull damage, okay. Um, and that reduced our uh, ordnance and uh, I think it was mass accordingly. Uh, what else can we play? We've got tungsten round, uh, four damage, 50% bonus damage to equipment. So that will deal four hull damage and six damage to the equipment. Um, uh, we can do that. We've got two ordnance. We've got three mass. Let's just do that, actually, uh, just to make sure we understand how that's played. So if I'm right, this should go down to one and the ship's hull point should go down to 18. Yes. OK. Um, so we've got two cards left that we could play. Radiate um, dissipates up to two heat. If heat is at zero, gain two energy. Uh, so this is our heat gauge here. Some things that we do can give us heat. If our heat uh, either exceeds our maximum heat, which is five, um, or possibly it's greater than or equal to it, then we will take one hull damage at the end of the turn. And then we lose heat um, one point per turn. So this little circle symbol here means a turn, wherever you see it. Um, so uh, radiate gives us a way to yeah, get rid of heat build up. Um, but if it's at zero like it currently is now, we could play it just to get to energy. And our resources carry over from turn to turn as well. Uh, so I am actually going to play that. Um, 
and then that will give us more of that resource. And importantly, it also fills up a slot here. So we've only got a certain number of card slots free. At the beginning of our next turn, we will draw cards to fill up our slots from our draw pile, which is over here. Uh, so we've currently got six cards in our draw pile, so we would fill up these three remaining slots here. Um, one um, unusual thing about this game is that when you play a card, it doesn't just go into a discard pile, it goes on cooldown. So you can see at the top there, um, Sap has a cooldown of three. Um, and cards, when you play them, go into the cooldown pile. Um, so if we click here, we can see uh, these are all the cards that we are getting. We've got a Railgun, we've got a, uh, which is giving us these three cards, a Suppressor, which is giving us these three cards, uh, a Res Augmenter is giving us those two cards, and a Radiator is giving us these two cards here. Um, and these are the operators that I was talking about uh, earlier. The cards that have got a white border around them are ones that are currently in our hand. So Sap is currently in our hand. Uh, cards that are greyed out are the ones that are on cooldown and they're pinpoint and tungsten round on cooldown because we played them earlier in the turn. So they'll be on cooldown for three more turns before they become eligible to be drawn again. Um, and then all the other cards that are, uh, are are ones that are in our draw pile basically and we may draw. Uh, so sap. Um, Minus one enemy shield duration, if already at zero, halve his shield points instead. Consume one security to activate the effect twice. So the security keyword is unique to this ship. Um, hack applies if target has zero security, otherwise remove one security from the target. Uh, security is a resource that protects against enemy hacks and buffs up your own hack cards. Uh, and then duration, uh, yeah, is to do with how shields work. So um, we'll see when uh, his shield card triggers. Any shield that you get uh, reduces the damage of any attacks that the other side makes. Um, and at the beginning of your uh, next turn, any leftover shield that you've got is halved. And the duration ability will uh, increase the number of turns for which uh, your shield is not halved. Um, so normally when you put shield up, you have duration of zero. And so it only lasts for that turn and then the following turn it will be halved. Um, but if you had duration one, then any shield left over at the end of your turn would go through until the next turn. And then only the turn after that would it be halved. Um, he's got no... Uh, shield at all at the moment so there's no point in us playing this um, we, he, he may get this up we may want to use this later so I'm going to keep it in my hand at any time if you don't want something to take up one of these slots in your hand you could right click it to discard it um, it does then go on cooldown though as if you had played the card um, so you need to decide whether there's any cards that you think you're not going to be able to make any use of in the next few turns and if so just get rid of them to make room for cards that you might want to play um so that's all we're going to do right now i think we're just going to end our turn like i said he's going to do nothing um but now he's got one extra tick in laser pulse and one extra tick in shield pulse that means laser pulse is ready to fire uh, so uh at the start of his next turn he will fire that at us and do four damage so what have we got now uh weapon coolant uh, return up to two attack cards from your discard pile to your draw pile. Uh, sustain two heat. Energy surge. Gain four energy. Uh, sustain one heat. Lose up to four energy on the turn end. So it's kind of temporary energy basically. Uh, if we don't use it this turn, we will lose it. Uh, firewall. Add one security. The energy cost is increased by our current security level and returns to your draw pile on play. Um, okay, what can we do? <laughs> so this ship doesn't have shields, so we're relying on hacks. Plies if target has zero security. So the way I read this is if the target has zero security, 
we will do everything on the card. Otherwise, we reduce his security by one. Enemy ships tend not to have security from what I've seen. Uh, so it seems like yeah, Sap is a way of getting rid of his shields. That's not particularly helpful right now. Um, does our discard pile mean our... I think it does mean our cards that are on cooldown. Uh, so that would get them off cooldown now at the cost of two heat. It seems like the ship is... We're meant to kind of build up heat by doing stuff and then we have ways to get rid of heat as well. Um, I don't know the benefit of playing that, but I'm going to play it. Let's give us a security. Um, we've got nothing to spend this on, really. Uh, I mean, weapon coolant, I guess. Let's get our two of our attack cards back off cooldown. Right, okay, so now Tungsten Round and Drill Round, uh, a Tungsten Round and Pinpoint that we used in the last turn are already back in our draw pile. Even though they should still be on cooldown. Uh, but see, we can't really do very much. I'm kind of tempted just to get rid of these. Ugh. I'm just going to get rid of those. I'm going to make, it, make way for for more attack cards. Not having shield is going to be challenging. Um, still not quite sure how we're supposed to deal with that. Okay, restrain. Remove one pip from a random enemy attack. I consume one security to discard a random enemy attack card instead. That's how we're supposed to deal with his attacks. And that's why we're building up security. Uh... Right, okay, so I guess if we didn't have any security, we would remove one pip from one of his attacks at random, which would slow him down. Uh, because we do, we'll just get rid of the card altogether. Uh, so we might actually want to save that for next turn when that is ready so that we get maximum value out of that. Uh, and in the meantime... Oh, well, I can't... It is almost... His equipment is almost destroyed, actually. So we could just finish that off. Uh, what else have we got? Drill round. Deal four damage. On equipment, destroy. Deal four additional hull damage. Okay, well that sounds perfect because we're about to destroy that. So, uh, did the hull damage and the extra damage. Uh, so this is now on um, cooldown effectively for three turns. So he won't be able to use that for the next three turns. So no point playing Restrain. I think we just uh, end our turn. Now, one other thing I haven't talked about is the rate at which that we gain uh, the different resources. So you can see currently we're gaining two of each resource every turn. Um, if that is not what we want, then we can take points out of one and put them into another instead. Um, and... Maybe that is something we want to do here. Although, yeah, we've got a lot of green and not quite so much red. So I'm going to take a point out of energy and that puts it back into my reactor. And then I'm going to apply that to ordnance. So we increase uh, the income of ordnance by one. So we're going to be gaining three ordnance every turn now instead of two. Um, when you do that, though, you gain one heat. Uh, which is the downside of doing that. Okay, so he triggered his shield, but it's only four shields. So that's not a big deal. Optimization, gain one ordnance for every two mass that you spend this turn. Um, and it's free to play. We're going to spend... Uh, we might as well do that, actually. Let's do that. Play Tungsten Round. Um... Enemy shield down. Okay, shield down. Uh, and then we can play this as well. And 
do I want to keep with Strain? We currently have no cards in our draw pile. Although three are coming off cooldown next turn. So we may as well keep uh, Restraint in hand. I'm not sure whether that means we'll draw three or we'll draw zero next turn. We'll find out. We do draw three, okay. Um, so yeah, th this shows that there's no point creating more than two empty spaces at the end of this turn because we're not going to have the cards to draw into them anyway. Um, all right. Can we just finish you off? You're nearly dead. Not quite. Um, okay. He doesn't have any shield points, so this is pointless. We've got no heat to dissipate. We'll just do that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Sap. I want to. I just need the attack cards. Which two cards are coming off cooldown? Drill round. Which is. Gonna. Uh, that will kill him because we'll be able to destroy the shield. Um, and I guess I play that to gain the uh, energy. And turn. Uh, and then drill round to destroy shield pulse that does uh, 4 damage to the hull plus an additional 4 damage. He's dead. Uh, so after each fight, we will get a reward. We'll get a number of credits, uh, and then uh, usually the ability to add a card. Uh, so we can skip this if we want. Um, otherwise, we get a choice of one piece of equipment uh, or one card for every piece of equipment that we have. So we could get another copy of Drill Rang, uh, which I quite like. Each defense is 50% of enemies' next shield card is transferred to you plus another 25% for each security. Lose all security. Uh, that might be a nice way. I do feel we're a bit kind of vulnerable at the moment, uh, not having any shield. Destroyed all, gain four mass, and then deplete. So we just uh, move from the battle once we play it. Uh, or another copy of weapon coolant. Uh, I think I'm gonna take leech defenses. Continue. Okay, next node. The last fight drew the attention of everyone in the area. Multiple ships are approaching on intercept course, but only one of them is close enough to get into combat range in time. Okay, so this time we are up against a guy with a beam weapon um, who will do six damage to us and uh, for every three hull damage that he does, he will add one heat. So because he's doing six damage, assuming we don't block any of it with shields, uh, that will add two heat to our heat meter. Uh, he also has a shield, which will gain him six shield points. Um, again, neither of these have been activated next turn. This one takes two turns to activate, this one takes three turns to activate. So... Uh, Leech Defenses isn't going to be any use until he gets Barrier up in a few turns. It's got a four turn cooldown there, so if I discard it now, I'm not going to get it back in time. Um, I think we're just going to play Radiate for the extra energy. And then we're going to work on maybe taking out beam sweep before it activates uh, which actually we can do um, yeah oh god no weapons um, weapon coolant those probably pretty handy to get those back so let's do that uh, we have no security at the moment um, hmm, actually sap and leech defenses kind of are at odds with each other I'm just gonna get rid of sap hold on to leech defenses um, 
can't remember what happens when this comes off the repair cooldown, whether it just carries on with the same number of pips. I'm guessing it probably does, so let's just play it now and get that back to zero. And then in turn. Okay, so it's going to activate his shields this round. Uh, we're not going to spend any mass this turn, so not terribly useful. Uh, I think we might as well do energy surge. This is one point of heat, but that doesn't matter. We're dissipating one per turn. It's not going to get to a level where it's a problem. Um, and then we'll hit you with that. Uh, do I want to hang on to that? Do I want to get rid of it? Uh, what are we going to get in our hand next go? We're going to get drill around. We're going to want to play leech defenses. So yeah, I, yeah, maybe, maybe, I guess. Okay, so he activates barrier, gets six shield this number here. Um, beam sweep has been repaired but yes it starts it, it carries on from whatever number of pips it had before it was uh, taken offline. So we are gonna do uh, optimization. Then we're gonna play a uh, leech. Oh I didn't read that did I? 50% of the enemy's next shield card is transferred to you. Not their current shield. Plus another 25% each security and lose all security. Ah. Okay. Well. Fine. We're just gonna hit that with that. Um, I mean, we could still play it do that. Oh, shoot, we can't if we play that though, can we? All right. Um, okay, we, he's only got one shield now, so Sap's not really doing anything. going to get rid of sap. Uh, let's play leech defenses now so the next time he plays barrier we're going to get that shield instead of him. Uh, and then I'm going to target beam sweep with that. Um, and I'm going to play that for two more energy. So yeah, these little icons above the ship uh, let us know about any status effects that are currently on them. Okay, so Beam Sweep is going to fire this go unless we take it out, which we can do. Uh, we could also just delay it by a turn, but we may as well take it out if we can. We'll play Pinpoint first. Uh, and then Weapon Coolant get those cards uh, straight back into our draw pile. And we got 50% of the barrier. So we now have four shield. Not that it's going to matter um, because yeah, that's going to be halving every turn. And he's not attacking us because this is currently being repaired. Um, but it does mean that he's got less shield, obviously. Uh, I think now is a good time to play optimization because we're going to be playing... Oh no, we're not going to be playing both of those cards because we don't have the ordnance that we need. Uh, I think what we want to do is we've got plenty of blue points. Let's put one into uh, that instead. And... Uh, that's the equipment destroy we are not quite going to do there. Okay, well, 
fine. Oh, yes, we are. I forgot he had shield on it. Oh, this tries him. Okay, had a card. Uh, I think we need some more attack cards. So AP round, deal six damage. If the enemy shred is at least three, damage a second random equipment. So uh, shred is a status that can be applied by flak weapons, which we don't have. Uh, I don't know whether we can get flak cards with this ship or not. Most of the time I think that means that's just gonna be doing six damage, which is not bad. That's a pretty expensive card. Uh, or we can just get another weapon coolant and focus on cycling through the cards that we've got faster. Just in two heat there. Uh, let's take the AP round. Continue on. Uh, so another thing that we can do between fights uh, is reallocate our reactor power. Um, we can also spend our credits to buy more reactor power. So we've got 128 credits at the moment. Uh, if we spend 125, we get one extra reactor power, which we can then uh, assign to one of our three resources uh, to increase the rate of gain of that resource. Um, if we didn't want to do that, we can, you know, we can just adjust here uh, to change the default starting. Um, resource allocation. I think what I'm going to do is sometimes it can be good to keep credits because there are options on the map that you can only do if you have a certain number of credits. Uh, but I think having more uh, resource gain is pretty important. Uh, more ordnance resource gain I think we could use. So uh, by that, it takes it down to three credits. Um, and um, the other thing on here is fuel that we have four of. So most of the paths on the map, uh, you can just uh, go along for uh, no fuel cost. There are some paths on the map that are in these lighter lines uh, and each of those costs one fuel to traverse. And those lines you can move um, in uh, backwards or forwards on them. Uh, whereas the blue lines, you've just got to keep moving forward on. Uh, so, it's, it creates some kind of optional paths basically through the sector, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, let's go here. After we breach the blockade, multiple ships try to make a run and exit the system. As we mix in with a group of civilian vessels, the Starkin gunships break off pursuit and focus on keeping the fleeing ships in. Incoming message request, Captain. It's impossible to isolate the source with so many ships grouped together. Greetings, Captain. Impressive skills you've shown there. I could use the services of a bold freelancer such as yourself. I'm a data broker by trade, willing to offer a generous reward in exchange for some valuable intel. I need to gather data on the most powerful gunships in this sector. All you need to do is send your combat logs to the specified coordinates after fighting two elite ships, and I'll transfer 150 credits on delivery. Oh, and Captain, pick a weapon from my reserves while you're at it. You'll need all the firepower you can get. Consider it an investment in your future. Uh, choose a weapon. Take the beam laser. Uh, so this is yeah a piece of equipment that we will be able to add onto our ship that will give us extra cards. Uh, or take the basic ion. Uh, unfortunately, here the, I don't think there's a way to actually lock these in place so we can see what these cards do. Uh, but ion weapons are basically designed to take down enemy shields. Um, Beam lasers, um, well, we, uh, what we've been going up against uh, so far. So they tend to be precision weapons that can take out uh, enemy equipment. Uh, I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the beam laser. A few moments later, a transport container emerges from somewhere in the group of ships heading for your location. You pry it open in the cargo bay after a security scan and pick up its contents. Okay, have your crew install the weapon and proceed. Uh, so now we have uh, the beam laser right here. Um, yeah, okay, so this... Uh, maybe we will actually be able to use his... 
abilities now. Um, okay, well, we'll see. Uh, so we have Beam Sweep, that's going to deal 6 damage, uh, Ignite 3, uh, so for every 3 points of hull damage that will add 1 heat to the enemy ship, uh, and Cutting Beam deal 3 damage at the start of your turn, uh, Ignite 2, so every 2 points of damage uh, it adds 1 heat to the enemy ship, uh, Upkeep 1 Energy, so that means this is a card that will basically stay out and will stay in play as long as we can satisfy the upkeep costs. Uh, so that seems pretty nice. Let's see how well that works out. Practice. Um, okay, so now we've got a choice. We can either go uh, this way, this way, or this way, and everybody dislikes us. So there's no particular advantage. Um, if we're going to head for and try to do two elite combats, I would rather do a neutral elite combat. So let's kind of wander in this direction. So I just managed to get a stable low intensity emission out of our shield generator. Uh, did you? I didn't think we had a shield generator. The weak shield barrier it projects will now not decay until it's damaged and the resulting power surge knocks it out of balance. Start the next combat with an extra six shield points. Okay, good. Uh, so yeah, so these are obviously a, a mix of event type encounters like that and combats. Uh, but you don't know what you are until you get to them. So only some of them are actually kind of revealed. Okay, deadweight conflict zones are impossible to police with limited resources of the local factions. A deadweight ship is locked in on our drive signature and is approaching from starboard. Uh, the deadweights, yeah, are kind of, kind of unfriendly, I guess. Definitely unfriendly. Shields up, Captain. All right, so that's the six shield that we got from that last event, uh, which is what that uh, icon there is. This ship is going to be firing missiles at us instead. Um, so missiles are basically delayed damage uh, and to avoid them we can either put shields up um, or if we have a piece of equipment like a PDC uh, we can shoot them down uh, but we can't take them out with uh, our railgun unfortunately. Also got charge barrier uh, which will gain six shield points and one duration. Okay, so that means he will have six shield points, and then at the beginning of his next turn, he will have six shield points again if we don't get rid of them. Uh, but we do have our thing uh, that works with enemies that have duration, so maybe we can use that against them. Um, okay, both of these are active, so both are going to trigger this turn. Um, can we take out the missile? Probably not. Probably not. We could put up leech defenses to get some of his shield. We could do restrain. Actually, we could do restrain to delay the uh, to delay the missile. Let's do that. It takes one pip out of a random attack card, and he's only got one attack card, so it comes out of the missile. Uh, I'll take the heat for extra energy. Uh, means we could play leech defenses as well. That's not a bad idea. Um, actually, can we play? We can play both of our attacks though. So if we do that, uh, and then we can destroy that equipment with this, and that will do four additional hull damage again. So we're stopping putting. We're stopping putting his shields up and uh, we do extra hull damage, so that's ideal. Okay, uh, but now he's going to fire his missile at us again, unless we do something about it. Um, beam sweep, six damage, ignite three, uh, tungsten round, we cannot play both of those. So we're probably not going to be able to stop him shooting his missile. What would we rather hit him with? I think once he fires this, uh, because it depletes, he's going to get another card in there. So I don't th think doing any damage to the equipment will actually persist, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's just hit him with beam sweep. Six damage and we've added two heat to him. 
which won't do anything unless we put his heat uh, up to three. Do we want to get rid of any of these? Uh, Sap is not very useful because he's not going to be doing shield anytime soon. Uh, so neither is leech defenses particularly, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. Main turn. Incoming missile. Okay, so the missile indicator is down here. Uh, so it's going to hit us in one turn and do six points of damage. Shield is currently at two, so we are going to take some damage there. Uh, there's probably nothing we can do about that. Uh, he is going to fire another missile at us. But not next turn. Turn after that. Hopefully we can just kill him by then. Uh, let's play optimization. And then we'll get some back when we play tungsten round. Play firewall. Turn. So we take four points of damage, I think that was from the missile because we had two shield. The missile did six damage. Okay, it's gonna fire another missile and he's gonna put his shield up. Unless we can kill him right now. Uh which I can we? We can destroy the missile. Gets him down to one HP. We can't kill him. Uh, I could have, I probably should have used some of the pilot abilities actually. Oh, he does have an ability. Uh, return one attack card from your discard pile to your hand. Why can't I play this? because oh, I'm one sure of... Yeah, I'm one sure of that. Uh, let's do... Attack card from your discard pile to your hand. 3-3... Three, three. No, they're both in my hand. Just wondering if I could get an attack card back. I could finish him off with... I got this one back, a 2-3 got two and three to my draw pile uh, we turn well, hang on we turn one attack card from your discard pile to your hand right okay so these are both in my discard pile let's do that we got the wrong one we wanted tungsten round. Uh, we can't do it again because his ability's got a three turn cooldown. Oh well. Play weapon coolant. End turn. At least he's not going to hit us. He's just going to put his shield up. Hopefully we can get through that. What do we need to do? Seven points of damage. think if we do that, followed by a draw. Oh no, because he's got a shield. Okay. Uh, uh, four damage. Four damage does it. Enemy shield down. Okay. 30 credits and add a card. Uh, drilling beam. It deals zero damage at the start of your turn. Ignite three. Increase the damage by three each turn. Keep one. Wow. Uh, Defiant Arms. Next turn enemy loses one attack power for every offense card in its hand. Rearm. Gain two ordnance if you end your turn with three ordnance or less. That's pretty good. 
We want the flow reduce the cooldown of cards in the discard pile by one. Sustain one heat for every five cards affected. Uranium slug deals six damage on equipment. Destroy deal 50% of the damage to another random equipment. Uh, mm, give me a drilling beam. That sounds fun. I hope we can make it work. Hope I'm not neglecting defense. So I was able to patch up our hull a little with some of the salvage we took off that ship. Four hull points repaired. Nice. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, it's going to be an elite combat. So uh, let's do the neutral one. Uh, your sensors pick up a massive heat re uh, reading up ahead. An elite free roamer gunship is approaching fast. Okay, two weapons. Boomerang deal eight ion damage. Uh, if shielded, gain shield points equal to the enemy shield points destroyed. So yeah, ion damage only damages our shields. Um, so if we don't have any shields, that is going to do nothing. Uh, so great. <laughs> and then laser pulse, four damage. Then 45 will become in next turn, gain 6 shield points plus 1 for each 45 card played, up to a maximum of 12 shield. Okay, so I'm going to try and take him out quicker. We have Drilling Beam here already. Um... Or we just try and stop him attacking us. Oh god, I like the idea of getting this up early though. Can we afford to play uh, one green per turn? Uh, well, yeah, hang on. Let's do energy surge. Uh, then do drilling beam. I guess we're still going to lose that. But it does let us do restrain. Got rid of boomerang, that's a shame. I'd rather it got rid of laser pulse. Oh well. Uh, that's all we can do. We've just got to make sure that we can... We keep having one... Is this at the end of our turn? What's per turn to maintain effect? Why did that go down to zero? Why did that go down to zero? Oh, duration three. Does that mean three turns maximum? as good as I thought it was. Uh, this is a slight problem. <laughs> we need more green energy. I think I am gonna... How do I reduce mass by... Do I take that down to zero? So yeah, every point that we add into something else gives us one heat. But I think we need to do that. Oh, we're not going to be able to play any cards. Next go. He's doing, He's going to be hitting us with a laser pulse every turn. We've been iron iron. Right. Enemy shields down. Oh yeah. Okay. So hang on. I do care about I. I do care about ion damage. Uh, ion damage will only damage shields, but if it hits the hull of the ship. Uh, then it ionizes it. And for every six ionize, uh, one of our resource production is disabled. So we've got eight ionize at the moment. Um, so one of our ticks, which is chosen randomly and just happens to be ordnance, um, is disabled. Uh, I can't remember how quickly this decays. We'll have to see. That is up to nine damage at least. Oh god, we got drilling beam and cutting beam. However, what's he doing? Iron reload, energy recirculation, lose all shield. 
gain equal amount of extra damage on your next laser attack. Okay, well, he's got no shield, so we don't have to worry about that. We're getting four uh, energy around, so I'm kind of tempted to just put this up as well. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh, when does this get paid? I don't know when this gets paid. I'm not sure when that gets paid. That did go, the first one did go away, but I think it, it said duration three, so... Yeah, I think he just expired. Uh, but we have caused him to overheat. Uh, so at the start of his turn, he receives one hull damage per overheat point. Um, and currently he has, yeah, two overheat points. So he's taking two damage every turn from being overheated. What's he doing? Uh, gaining seven shield points. Gonna do six ion damage to us. Deals double damage if we are unshielded which unfortunately we're going to be because we don't have shields on this ship. Uh, so that's going to hit us for 12 iron eyes. So it's going to disable two ticks uh, randomly, which is not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, we should play that. We should do... God, we're not going to be able to destroy anything. Let's just focus on... I spend this, we're gonna lose cutting beam. Can't destroy any equipment. But that's fine, I guess. He's not doing laser pulse this turn. Maybe we'll be able to take it out before next turn. Love that 12 ionize. We've been ionized. Oh, only six. Okay, I was expecting that to be 12. Oops, I thought he did double damage. Okay, not quite sure what happened there. Um. Next laser attack. It's doing four more damage. though so we're just taking the iron damage again We've been ironized. now we're up to 12 so we're losing two ticks yeah this is not ideal that's not ideal uh, he's gonna do his shield so maybe now is a good time to leech defenses Maybe we're better just actually... Which is this going to give him? Eight shield? Yeah, I don't really want him having eight shield. So let's leech. Uh, let's gain two green and let's beam sweep as well. We're not 
be able to play either of those next go. Mm, what is coming back next go? Ah, uh, stuff that needs blue energy. Uh, we make no, we make an AP round actually. We three. Oh god. Took one off that. I did one to that. I built to play that, I suppose. But he's gonna have his shields up anyway, so Yeah, maybe I don't care. You are now shielded. Okay, so we stole some of his shield. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna reduce the ionized damage that we take. Let's. Uh, we can harvest shield points with that. a pip from an attack. Okay. It's not going to hit us with that. It's going to hit us with a laser. No, it's not. Sorry, because laser pulse is being repaired, so he's not going to do anything. Ah, uh, we got two weapon cards on cooldown, although they're both coming back in anyway next turn. So I don't think there's any point in playing this. I'm just going to get rid of that and we should be able to kill him next go if I get rid of that. Oh, except I'm going to need probably two points in that. And then we'll get rid of that as well to free up plenty of space. Attack cards. Okay, so we got to do uh, three damage, which is uh, not a problem. Enemy shields down. Okay, fifty-three credits. Add a card. Uh, okay, another drill round. Another drilling beam. Uh, Define arms. Next turn, enemy loses one attack power for every offense card in his hand. Rearm. Radiates. Enemy rearm. And also, we got a piece of equipment production stabilizer. So, hopefully, we can use that. The way we do that uh, is particular pieces of equipment uh, work in particular locations. Um, so, you see this is a tactical hard point here, this is a weapon mount, uh, this is a utility hard point, uh, and this one works on the resource bay, uh, which is where this is. And if we stick it on there, uh, each turn that we don't receive HP damage, we gain one random resource. Okay. But sometimes the, um, the pieces of equipment that you can add to particular locations will buff the cards from that location. Uh, this is just like a generalized benefit. Still don't have enough credits to upgrade our reactor again. Um, this is our command points. Yeah, so we've got 11 command points and we're getting two command points per sector that we move. Okay, so we can just keep going forward or we could take uh, a diversion over here. Do a second elite combat, get ourselves 150 credits from that mission that we got earlier. Uh, we'd have to spend one fuel to go here, and then another fuel to go there. Uh, which we do have, so we could do that. Uh, or we keep pressing forward and we use our fuel kind of in this area here instead. Uh, I guess it makes sense to do the second elite fight earlier. 
Captain, permission to report. Our scanners are picking up signs of combat up ahead. A Solari unarmed ship is being attacked by a deadweight gunship. The civilian ship's hull integrity is critical. If we are to intervene in time, our only option is to fire on the attacking ship and draw its attention. Firing our weapons without initiating combat protocols first will leave our ship at a disadvantage in the upcoming fight. So, do we draw the attention of the attacking ship? Uh, we have disadvantage, the enemy gets the initiative. But we improve our relations with the Solari by one point. Uh, which would take them to neutral from dislike. Uh, or we can just proceed. Let's improve our relations with the Solari, why not? So I assume disadvantage means he goes first and he's immediately going to launch a missile at us. Great. Uh, good, and put a shield up. Okay, fine. What can we do about that? Not a lot. In fact, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Give me... Um... Give me... Actually, we could either do this for four temporary. We can gain this to get two more energy now. Which is all we need to play these cards. Yeah, let's... Well, hang on. Sustain one heat. Dissipate the heat. We're still going to lose that energy on turn end. Uh, I don't think it matters. Do that. Uh, play firewall. Or future use. Uh, deal six damage. Can't do both of our attack cards this turn because we've not got enough ordnance. Uh, but let's do. I really want him to not send another missile our way. So... Oh, I guess got shields. Ah, yeah, of course I've got shields. That was uh, a waste of time then. I should have just waited. Because his shields would have halved at the start of the next turn. Um. Okay, end turn. Keep those two cards. Six damage. Can we stop that missile? Yes, we can. Uh. Yeah, the only way to do it is with Restrain. Uh, in fact, we will make him discard the card. So get rid of your Missile card. Thank you. And uh, then... Uh, we could hit him with... <gasps> no, I accidentally discarded it. I didn't mean to discard it. Oh, no. Shoot. All right, well, too late. It's gone. Uh, I'll keep this for next time because I think we might need four more energy there. Okay. Another missile coming back. Uh, we're not going to be spending any blue energy. Probably next turn we are. Uh, yeah, give me... Let's do that. Let's play Drilling Beam. Uh, do we want Cutting Beam up? Oh, we could keep both of them going, but... Oh no, because we're going to lose... No, we're actually going to lose the four energy. So actually this is going to go away, I think, right away. Depending on which order things happen in. Let's just hit him with that while he doesn't have any shields. Uh, let's see, yeah, does this stay up or not? I think it did, I think it took it. Oh, mm, actually, it did stay up, okay. Missile will be incoming. Oh my god. 
kind of got a problem with green energy here. We do not have a problem with blue energy, so I'm going to do that. And you can see there's also a cap of what the maximum income for each resource can be set to. Uh, so plus four is currently the max for all of them. Uh, we can upgrade that by paying credits as well. Uh, but on them, plus four is the maximum. Uh, phew, yeah. I mean, that's all I can do. We do have production stabilizer. Let's um, anything we'll do here. Not really, no. Okay. Enemy shields down. I feel like the the cost of this is coming out of our income on the following turn. Okay, play optimization, play rearm, and I guess play cutting beam. Ow. We are not really not good against missiles. But that 9 damage was good. Uh, we just need to kill him off as quickly as we can. We destroy a piece of equipment we can't. Uh, and he's going to put a shield up. Uh, next attack deals 50% extra damage. Six damage is not enough. Turn one attack card from your discard pile to your hand. Um, if we did... Oh god, can we afford to do both? We can. Let's do that. Six damage. Oh yeah, and that, then that's enough to destroy the equipment. I feel like this killer. Good. 21 credits, add a card. Or skip. Add a torch beam. Laser, deal 3 damage at the start of your turn. Ignite 3, reduce ignite by 1. I'll keep 2. Okay, no, let's not take that. Uh, another pinpoint. Another leech defenses. Ammo dump. One time gain for ordnance. Coolant flow. Reduce the cooldown of cards in the discard pile by one. Sustain one heat for every five cards affected. Hmm. I think I'll take ammo dump. Because it doesn't clog up my deck. One time use. Per battle. Uh, so I was able to patch up our hull a little with some of the salvage we took off that ship. Four hull points repaired. Good job. My engineer's doing a good job patching me up. Uh, 30 out of 50 though. Yeah, it's a little sketchy. Um, so yeah, it costs 100 uh, to increase the capacity uh, of these. I think I would rather save it for the extra income uh, I guess we're gonna go fight an elite then who's now neutral thankfully given we just increased our reputation with the Solari so it should make the fight mildly less hard I think um, however it is still an elite uh, okay with flak weapons so opening shot deals two to four damage uh, if he damages a hull, it applies a shred. Uh, and shred, every shred point increases the minimum flak damage by one. Um, so in other words, we get hit by opening shot, it will do a random number of between two and four damage. 
Uh, and as long as that damages is our hull, which it will, um, we'll get one shred. And so the next flat card that he plays, which will be this one, uh, instead of dealing two to five damage, we'll deal three to five damage. Uh, and if it does, uh, shred five means if it does five damage, it will add another shred point to our ship. Uh, shred points persist between turns uh, as long as you continue to apply shred. But any turn that you don't add additional shred on, the shred goes down by one. Um, so basically flak weapons uh, are designed you want to keep hitting the enemy with them um, and keep building up the shred and that just makes the subsequent flak attacks do even more damage. Uh, so this is fairly nasty. So what we don't want is opening shot to go off. Uh, however, can we do anything about that? Let's play ammo dump. Um, maybe... So this pinpoint is good because uh, plus one equipment damage for each enemy equipment. So elites have more equipment than regular ships. So the pinpoint is more useful against them. That's doing six damage. Drill round will do four more damage. Actually, yes, we can take out this. Uh, and we do have... We do have enough. Uh, we would not then be able to play restrain though. It's like Barrage is still going to hit us, but then it will just be 2 to 5 damage. Um, so we would be unlucky to get a Shred applied to us, but it could still happen. Let's do it, because we want to do damage to him as well. Um, so that, and then Drill Round. Destroys the equipment. It's extra damage to the ship. Uh, do I want to keep Energy Surge for next time? Possibly. Oh wait, hang on. That's the temporary green. I'm mixing that up with the other one. Uh, oh, so we could do we could do restrain. Um, maybe then we should do that. And I'll get. Uh, I'll wait. Oh, did it take what? It took one pip off opening shot. I thought it was going to take one pip off light barrage. I guess that's fair. So it's still going to hit two to five damage. Two. Great. So, because it didn't get to five, it didn't apply any points of shred to us. Uh, so that's good. Uh, just going to do the same thing again this turn. Next turn, he's going to increase his maximum flag damage by one. Do. Uh, I wonder if we should put that on light barrage or lighter rounds. Probably light barrage. Then uh, let's do weapon coolant. We only had the one card. Dissipate up to two heat. I guess. Uh, he's not going to be getting shields, so we don't need that card at all this fight. So just discard it. Free up space. Four damage this time. Eek! We're down to 24. Uh, yeah, this is useless as well because he's he's just not putting on shields. I guess we get rid of that. Uh, okay, we can take this out, which is good. Uh, and then in turn, he says his max flak damage flak damage by one. Um, but he's not attacking as this go. He's got 39 HP, my god. Okay, so let's play Optimization. So if we gain one Ordnance for every two mass that we spend. 
and we're going to spend five mass on rearm. So we will gain, uh, every turn we'll gain two ordnance if we end our turn with three ordnance or less. And then we'll hit him with beam sweep. Okay, what's he doing now? Barb shrapnel. Plus one flak max damage for every two enemy shred points. Uh, luckily we have no shred points. However, it's going to hit us with opening shot. If this does damage, it will apply one shred. Um, <laughs> restrain may get rid of it. Uh, yeah, sap is useless, so get rid of that. Yeah, deal three damage plus one. Okay, so we'll do, we can do six damage to his equipment with that. Uh, yeah, we can play both of these cards. So let's do that. Then we can destroy the equipment with this. That does four additional hull damage again. And then it's out of action for another three turns. Okay, it's gonna hit us with light barrage. Uh, can we take that out? I don't think so. Uh, so. Uh, it's the radiate for two more energy. Let's restrain and hope it hits like barrage. It did not hit opening shot again. Uh, okay, well, get cutting beam up, I guess. We're going to be taking two to six damage. Four, okay. Luckily, that's below the shred threshold again. Uh, two to six damage coming in again. God, it's tough not having any shields on this ship. Um, I guess we're going to play Tungsten Round, so we might as well play that. Uh, we can do six damage to some equipment. What does Ship Charge do? Reduces Shredding Requirement by one this turn. Uh, God, I'd rather... I'll just stop him hitting us and then let's get two attack cards from our discard back to our draw six ah uh, god down to 14 hp uh but he's down to 12 can we kill him can we kill him a okay, kind of short of green energy should have thought about that last turn. We can only play one of those cards. We can increase our damage by 50%. Oh, we can take out AP. Uh, we can take out Light Barrage with AP round. Deal six equipment damage. That's with that, actually. Three damage, plus one equipment damage for each enemy equipment. No, they're both the same, I think. So, he's got no shield. Okay, good. Stop submitting us. Let's take out that, add it to that, uh, so that we can play as many of our attack cards as possible next go. Hopefully kill him. And we do have this, uh, whatever it was, going as well. Uh, so we just got to do six damage. Uh, that'll do it. Okay, leave ship down. <laughs> but we're not in a great way. Add a card. Uh, AP round, Scorch, 4 damage plus 1 damage for each enemy heat point. Battle of 7, Ignite 2, we sustain 3 heat. Another Sap, uh, Coolant Flow. 
or we can skip. Uh, I think I'm going to skip. Overload. A uh, piece of equipment. Every third laser attack played in the same turn deals plus three damage. Okay. We're going to be able to make use of that. So we add that in. Oh, hang on. By the time your crew is finished covering any useful salvage, the combat, layer, combat log data transfer is complete. Thank you for your services. As per our agreement, the funds are being transferred. So we get 150 credits. Uh, judging by the time between the data transfer and the incoming message, the data broker ship should be within scanner range, but our sensors are not picking anything up. But we're now rich. So we can add one reactor power. Uh, and we can afford to increase the rate of gain of something by one tick. Um, felt like we were short of well, like we're short of green, but oh, I don't know. Do we need to increase that? We want to put that extra one into energy gain, I think. Uh, may we choose in the battle to add? I suppose we might choose to switch like two more into ordnance or something. Let's have another have the ability to upgrade that to five gain per turn during combat if we want to do that. Um, okay, where can we go? Conflict zones. Um, let's... Deserted fuel station. Us as a fuel to get there. We've only got three fuel. Uh, sure. You stumble upon a deserted and pillaged refueling station. On closer inspection, it looks like some fuel is still left in one of the tanks. Plus two fuel, okay. Uh, so we can go the waypoint neutral or the Starkin patrol dislike. Let's stay with the factions that don't dislike us. Everything seems quiet. Good. System event. Let's go see what that is. Incoming transmission from a Solari patrol ship up ahead. Captain, a pirate vessel has been pillaging trade lanes in the vicinity and we're severely undermanned. Our lack of response is embolden them, and likely others, to carry out more attacks. Until the situation is stabilized in the system, we cannot attend to it. I hereby wish to contract your services to eliminate the threat. What do you want to do? Accept the contract for 90 credits. Um, or decline. I'm inclined to decline because uh, we've only got 14 health, to be honest. And that money is not enough to upgrade our reactor again. So yeah, decline. I kind of want to find somewhere to heal. There's an escape pod. I don't know where we can go to heal. I think maybe a space station. Uh, let's go to the escape pod. So we're registering a short range emergency signal from an escape pod up ahead. Pick it up and inspect it in the airlock or ignore it and move on. Hey, you've got to, got to see what it is. The crew carefully scan the pod and open it in the airlock. A middle-aged man comes out with his arms raised, scans his surroundings, then cracks a big smile. Greetings, Captain. Looks like I owe you my life. The recycler system in that pod was almost out of power. Name's Wolf. Used to be a captain myself until recently. There was a mutiny on my ship. Pirates can get real antsy when times are lean. My exo took advantage of that to turn the crew against me. This doesn't look like the inside of a Solari patrol ship. So let me join your crew and make myself useful while I figure out a way to get my ship back. Captain, I've identified our guest. He's a notorious pirate with a bounty on his head. I suggest we hold him in the brig until the first station, collect an easy 100 credits without getting trouble for harboring a known criminal. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, he's a pirate. He's got to go to the brig. I want the money. Deciding not to take unnecessary chances to escort the pirate to the brig, he shouldn't cause any trouble until you reach the first station to collect the bounty. I'm assuming we could potentially have used him as a controller for one of the uh, slots, um, and he might have given us uh, another ability. Don't know for sure. Repair station. That sounds like a place that we should go. You come across an abandoned repair station. A large part of it has been stripped clean by scavengers, but upon closer inspection, one of the maintenance bays still seems to be functional. 
lock and attempt to repair. It might not look like it, but some of the equipment left here is actually in good working condition. Your engineer gets to work with the assistance of the rest of the crew. A few hours later, the hull looks better than ever. 12 hull points repaired. Not bad, but we could use more. Any space stations before the final boss? That is there, and we could make it, so let's go there. An unregistered ship present in contested Solari space is approaching an, on an attack vector before the crew can act. The enemy is already upon us. Oh dear. Shooting this with your laser and putting your shield up. Okay. Uh, all right, so two lasers happening and a shield got it. Okay, great. Lasers and shield on every turn. That's gonna be annoying. Okay. Use two weapons. But we're not going to be able to take out any of his equipment, so we're going to get hit for... Oh god, paired pulse? Deal three damage twice. So we're getting hit for ten damage. It's pretty bad. Um, hmm. Halving his shield points when he's only on four doesn't really seem to make any sense to me. Ah, this is bad. This is bad. I'm not quite sure, yeah, what happens about rotating equipment out, I guess. I guess I'm gonna hit you with that. Oh no, of course. Oh, of course, because it didn't hit his equipment, so it only did three damage. Oh. Was a complete waste of time and resources. Uh, mm, three damage at the start of my turn. Let's get the cutting beam up. God. Do I want to keep that? I suppose I do. Let's get rid of sap. It's not going to have enough shield up to make that oh, worthwhile. Damage. Yeah. 12 health. Uh, okay, well at least he's not shooting us. Uh, laser cooldown, so that's just basically does nothing for one turn. Reset shield generator operation cycle. Okay, because again does nothing for one turn. Gives us a chance to do some stuff. Okay, so optimization uh, with rearm and uh, he is at zero. Let's play that to gain two energy and I guess we hit you with that. And how many weapon cards are on cooldown? You have two on cooldown. Sustain two heat is fine. Let's do that and then that frees up all of our slots as well. with the lasers again. There's two laser pulses, so eight damage. Really like to avoid that. Mm, okay, so restrain will. But then I won't be able to use any other cards. Man. 
Okay, reduce that by one, increase that by one. We need green. Oh, yeah, we almost need more green than red. Uh, we could bring drilling beam out. Maybe. No, we gotta we gotta restrain him. We, but our hit points are so low. We just don't wanna take any damage. I think. I could even reduce that to zero. get six. Oh, I think I'm going to get rid of firewall as well. Oh, what's coming? What's coming? Anything that needs blue? I guess. Drill around. Round. Each defense needs one blue. Let's leave it like that. Eight health. Okay. Oh, but leech. Okay, leech defenses is the yeah, is the shield one. Which I don't really care that much about. I certainly don't care about sap. I'm gonna hit us for four again. Oh my god, we're gonna be lucky to survive this. survive this. Get rid of that. Pinpoint on that. <sighs> Reduce that by one. Increase. Oh, I can't increase that by any more. Uh, mm. I'm going to be dead. Oh, can't take much more. <sighs> Gotta stop him using both of these, this go. Oh, there's no way we can do it. We can do drill round. No, because he's got four shield as well. Yes, we've got to use AP round. Enemy shields down. And then we can do either drill round or tungsten round and beam sweep. Uh, yeah, I mean, doesn't matter. Whichever ever one of these hits us, we're dead. Next attack deals plus fifty percent damage. Uh, is there any way out of this? No, because we just don't have the resources we need. the extra damage for the extra damage to the ship uh, that does six damage ah oh, it's close should not yeah we're just we're just gonna be out of energy oh 
what a pain. And to five health. Inner security is no good. I return the tech card from my discard pile to my hand. I mean, it might be good. I got the right one, which I didn't. I don't know, maybe that could give me something I could use. Uh, gain four energy. Well, we could use that. Which lets us play AP round, which deals six damage, which is enough to kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> How did we survive that? Four HP. Yeah. Things not looking so good. I like drill round. I'm really tempted to take another one of them. Another drill around. Like that's been MVP so far. Please be a repair station. It is a space station. We do have some credits. We can um, trade in our pirate. Uh, let's collect the bounty. Let's enter the hangar. Repair my ship. Uh, all for 184. Nice. Back to maximum health. Thank God for that. Oh, I forgot to put overload on my ship. Uh, I can put that on beam laser. That might have been helpful as well. So, yeah, in the station this weekend, uh, we can buy extra equipment. We can buy uh, other stuff. <laughs> well, they're kind of friendly pirates. See, they're, they're, all the factions are kind of piratey. But, but some of them are kind of on good terms with, so, uh, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I can't afford anything else. Oh, God. It looks like credits are really at a premium in this game because you just want to be putting them into uh, into reactor as soon as I get them. Uh, anyway, good. We healed. Thank God. Jeez. Uh, crew activities. Uh, what do you wish to do at the station? Uh, head over to the station bar and unwind. Plus two morale for the next three nodes. Uh, sure. Okay, so that just means we're going to get four of our command points back when we move to the next node. Uh, depart the station. You managed to beat the demo boss a few days ago. <laughs> nice. Uh, I've, uh, I've done one run before this one in this newest demo. Uh, and I did, I did get to the boss in that. I did not beat him. So, we'll see how we do now. Um, okay, heading to the sector exit, your sensors pick up a massive vessel inbound on an attack vector. The sector is locked down, any ships attempting to leave are marked for termination. Look, looks like we'll have to find our, find our way out. Yes, as you would expect. But he has lots of equipment, so that's going to work well for whichever card of mine it was. Uh, that does more damage based on the equipment. Um, but what's he got? Uh, in two turns, he'll be upgrading his maximum flag damage. This turn, he's doing three to seven damage and shred me on five or higher. And he's going to launch a missile next go. Next go is also going to raise his shields. And every time I damage his hull, or every turn after... He receives hull damage, he will draw and play an improvised flak card. Alright. So he is going to shield. If we play energy surge, can we play all of our cards with green? We cannot. Should I immediately... I should have probably changed my energy uh, distribution because I think two in mass is too much. I'll do that now for a heat. I 
Okay, we can only do one weapon because we've only got five. Uh, we've only got five ordnance. We've got six command points to use in the entire fight. These abilities are not super great anyway. So we want to use AP round because it does the most damage. Um, I'd kind of like him to stop to not shoot missiles. God, I don't know. I don't know what the best thing to do is. Let's play that. Uh, so we want to use as much green energy as we can. Let's do armor-piercing on his missile. And let's leech defenses. And that's it. End. Seven damage. Okay, so we got one shred. So all of his flak now does uh, one more minimum damage. So this is now... I think that takes into account four to seven rather than does that take into account it might not that might be five to seven now uh and he got uh draw and play an improvised flat card did he do that last turn did he, did he attack us again i never quite see the improvised flak because it looks like he's not doing improvised flak this turn but i I think he does. Yeah, anyway. Uh, okay, we have our drill rounds. We could play both of them. And that would take out his missile. Let's do that. Your extra hull damage. What's he gonna get? He's gonna get 12 shield points and one duration. We're gonna get six of those. He's gonna have six. You can. Yeah, I guess we'll keep that for next go. We might wanna play that next go. Turn. A flat barrage there. Oh, yeah, okay. And there's the improvised flak. So the improvised flak does get played even though it's not white. Mm, okay. Uh, how did we get shields? Oh, because we stole some of the shields, that's right. Okay, so you got one duration. So we want to play Sap, I think. Titanium shells, six to eight flak damage, shred on four, so guaranteed shred. Two shred on us now. We've really got to stop him doing shred damage, but uh, that is a lot easier said than done when you've got a ship with no shield. Sap reduces duration to zero. So this will halve to three shield next turn. Should I get cutting beam up? Three damage at the start of your turn. Because there's no point hitting him with damage when he's got six shields still. Uh, let's play radiate for the extra uh, energy. And yeah, let's get cutting beam up. That's going to be it. God. Okay, maybe Provise Flak just sits there and only goes off. 
if we hit him. I'm not convinced that the the UI showing when that's going to go off and when it isn't is right. Uh, I don't know. Okay, what are you doing now? Uh, switching ammo, so you're not attacking us. That's still offline. Um, okay, so basically he's not hitting us, which is good. So maybe we get drilling beam up. do that because he's also got 10 shield so um, so hitting him with any attacks is pointless uh, but I guess we'll keep these for next go and then we can do oh can't play rearm unless we do that and that and then next time we can play rearm with optimization. Okay, good. However, 7 to 11 flag damage. And that's taken into account our shred, I think. Uh, launching another missile. Um. And I don't think he's doing... Oh, maybe he's doing flak this turn. I'm not sure. What does the missile damage? The missile damage is six, so can we take out concussive shells? Six damage to equipment with that. Yeah, probably not. Optimization. Rearm. On that. Is it. Uh, well, I guess. Oh, these abilities are so bad. Could drop down the gain on ordnance. That's not a limiting factor anymore. If we wanted to do tungsten round, we'd need another one in mass. But... Might be better with it just in energy. We could at least... Those two... Uh... This guy is difficult. Incoming missile. We're taking damage. Oh yeah, I guess that does go off. Down to 19 health. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. 7 to 11 damage from that. Uh... Yeah, I feel like it's not showing us whether this is going to go off or not. I think that's a demo bug, I guess. Because I think, yeah, because of our drilling beam. Third laser attack played on the same turn deals plus three damage. I don't think I've been able to make use of that. Why? Why do we have so little energy? Did we not get... Why am I talking green energy? Why have we only got one? Did he do a thing? He probably did a thing. Bob Shrapnel plus one max, flak max damage from two enemy shred points. Great. Um, when you destroy a system and it comes back online, it doesn't activate and shoot the same turn. No, it's, it's the improvised flak thing that I'm not sure about. Because uh, this is being triggered by retribution, but I think it's, it's it seems to be triggering and doing damage to us whenever I've done damage to him, but it, not necessarily when this is lit up. So I'm, yeah, I'm not I'm I, I'm confused about when improvised flak is going to happen and when it isn't. Anyway, not that it matters. He's raising his shield. This go, I <laughs> think we're screwed basically. Completely screwed. 
I don't know why we didn't get more green energy there. Okay, well... Is it even worth playing that? I, I guess we'll get to work on concussive shells. Or maybe it isn't because it triggers... Oh yeah, look, okay, so that has triggered improvised flak. But I think it was triggered by our drilling beam at the start anyway, which is what happened last time. Uh, are we dead? I think we're dead. Six damage from the missile, minimum seven from this, it's 13. Um, since the five would be 18. Yeah, we're dead. Oh, can't take much more. Him down to 43 health. God. Ah, oh, so hard. It's a really good game. I like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it when I played it like nine months ago. Um, and they've just kind of tweaked and added stuff. Uh, I made it even better. Uh, the game is out next month. Um, despite this qualification here, that kind of stuff is still being developed. Um, and yeah, check out the demo uh, if you're interested. Um, you can play, there's a prologue which um, acts as kind of like a, a story-based tutorial, uh, basically. Um, and then, yeah, um, you can choose to play using any of the three ships. Um, the Balanced One, the Marauder, uh, or the Lancer. So yeah, I have not killed the boss with any of them yet. Um, oh, does it change the... Actions based on the ship you use. Yes, it does. I assume this was randomized, but it looks like it's not. Yeah, if you start with the Marauder, then the Dead Weights are an allied faction. Start with the Arbalest, then the Free Roamers are an allied faction. Maybe the Lance is the hardest ship, because nobody's allied, and you've got no shield. That's my excuse for not winning, anyway. Um, all right, well, that is going to do it for me for now. Uh, yeah, check out the demo on Steam. Wish list the game if you're interested. Um, but that's all for me for now. So, till next time, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Speedy Alima signing out. Bye for now.